Welcome to Enter the Unknown. My name is FJ, and today we're back with part 3 of the Random Card Challenge. If you haven't seen the first two episodes, then you can check them out for more background information, they'll be linked in the description. For the first time in the series, we actually have to remove some cards for the battle with Gary on the SSN. His highest level Pokemon is his Ivysaur at level 20, so we need to take out all of the Weeping Bell that we added before the battle with Misty. The only cards I had available to add prior to this one were Meowth, Diglett, and Drowsy. While we're picking out our team of four to face off against Gary, I do want to mention that going forward, the cards that are drawn will be removed from the deck. I'd been thinking about this and it was suggested in the comments on the last video and it just makes sense to me. I won't be removing every card of the chosen Pokemon, just the specific card that was drawn. Anyway, it looks like we'll be using Caterpie, Pikachu, Zubat, and Raticate for our fourth rival battle. This could definitely be a tough one. The one major upside that came with this draw is that I got to level up and evolve the shiny Rattata that we caught in episode 1. Our team is up to the right level, so let's just jump into it. Gary leads off with his level 19 Pidgeotto, and we send in our level 18 Pikachu. We start off with Thunder Wave, and the normal flying type uses Sand Attack. Both moves pay off immediately as Pikachu misses Thundershock and Pidgeotto can't move due to paralysis. Another move fails due to paralysis before Pikachu lands the first attack of the battle with Thundershock. Pidgeotto follows up with Quick Attack and deals a decent chunk of damage. A second Thundershock connects, almost knocking out the bird Pokemon, but he survives with a few HP remaining. Quick Attack lands yet again to take Pikachu into one-shot range, but she connects with a third Thundershock to take down Gary's first Pokemon. Raticate comes in for our rival, and we leave Pikachu in on our side. Unfortunately, she's unable to get off a Thunder Wave because Raticate's Quick Attack finishes her off. She does come back to haunt him from beyond the grave though, with Static paralyzing him after she falls. We send in Caterpie, and she gets off a couple of tackles before going down to the normal type. She wasn't able to do much, but we all had to appreciate the effort she made. Good work, Caterpie. He did good. Eh, he did fine. We call on our own Raticate next, and because she's shiny, we're obviously better. One Hyper Fang cuts down Gary's Raticate and takes it down to a 2 on 2. Kadabra is up next, and with his base 30 defense, he's got absolutely no chance of standing up to a Hyper Fang. One move obliterates the Psychic type and leaves Gary with just his starter. When Ivysaur comes in, we spend a turn to switch out to Zubat, and she's immediately put to sleep. As always, I wanted to use my whole team in this one, but with a combination of Sleep Powder and Leech Seed, we really weren't able to do much. Eventually, we're forced to bring Zubat back to save her from Ivysaur. Raticate has to take a Vine Whip when she switches in, but it doesn't do too much. After a Hyper Fang, Gary goes for a Hail Mary and tries for Sleep Powder one last time, but it fails. A final Quick Attack wipes out Ivysaur and hands us the win. This battle was a serious reminder of just how good Raticate can be. For the gym battle with Lieutenant Surge, we only have to add Weeping Bell and Parasect to the deck before drawing our team of three. There really aren't many ground types in rotation at this stage, but it looks like we'll have Nidorina up first. Second, we're gonna have Weeping Bell. That's the Erika's Weeping Bell card. And finally, up third, Weedle. Okay, this will be difficult. Our team for gym battle number three looks like this. Weedle is at level 18 with just Poison Sting and String Shot in his arsenal. Nidorina's at level 21 and her moveset consists of Bite, Tail Whip, Cut, and double kick. Lastly, we have Weeping Bell at 24, with Vine Whip, Growth, Sleep Powder, and Acid at its disposal. For the 3-on-3 three -three matchup, we send in Weedle first. Surge calls in his level 21 Voltorb, and we get to work. Really though, a couple of Poison Stings barely leave a scratch on the living, breathing Pokeball. Without breaking a sweat, Voltorb fries poor Weedle and sends her packing. Another impressive performance though. We appreciate the effort, Weedle. Good work. Weeping Bell comes in for Retribution and doesn't waste any time setting a plan in motion. After the speedy electric type uses Screech, Weeping Bell puts it to sleep with Sleep Powder. That really spells the end for Surge's first Pokemon. One Vine Whip cuts away the majority of Voltorb's health, forcing Lieutenant Surge to use a Super Potion. That proves fruitless as a second Vine Whip crits for a one-shot. Surge's second Pokemon is his level 18 Pikachu and we go out to Nidorina. After a double team, she goes for cut and deals a lot of damage, but Static leaves her paralyzed. That was, of course, all part of the plan. Pikachu's Thunder Wave fails because we wisely took advantage of Static. You can't paralyze a paralyzed Pokemon. 
Pikachu follows up with a Shockwave, but it doesn't do too much damage. A second cut slices through the Pokemon mascot and takes Surge down to 1. His level 24 Raichu is out last, and he doesn't make a strong start. Leading off with 3 double teams really doesn't pay off as Nidorina connects with back to back to back cuts. Those attacks knock Raichu into red health, but after a Shockwave, Nidorina can't move due to paralysis. A second Shockwave takes it down to a 1 on 1. Weeping Bell returns to the field and soaks up an ineffective hit before a Vine Whip takes down another opponent, earning us our third gym badge. That makes for another successful episode. Those were a couple of tough battles though, and it's only going to get harder from here. I hope you enjoyed, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.